What's good, YouTube? So today I want to talk about um, what to do when you see angel numbers. And I made a video or post little clips with numbers and stuff like that, but I didn't go quite into detail. So you can, you know, really understand and understand what these numbers mean and what to do when you see them. So I'm going to start off by saying that <clears throat> in my backyard, um, you'll see a lot of feathers in my backyard. There is plenty of them. And I've been seeing feathers since I was a child. I knew as a child something was special about them feathers. But as I got older, you know, that's when reality set in and you start to realize what's what. But I got a lot of feathers in my yard. I also see a lot of coins. Um, animals, you feel what I'm saying? Like animals gravitate toward me. Like one day a dog followed me damn near all the way, you know what I'm saying, from my mama crib to a street or two over. Butterflies follow me everywhere. Um, just a lot of things of that nature. So I'm going to start off by saying, um, fat, like I said, feathers, coins is them two way, two things uh, that your spirit guys send you to show you or a message or whatever. Or that they're with you. Music, videos, there are, these are just examples of ways that they could communicate with you. One way is synchronicity. So if you constantly seeing numbers like 1111, 422, 1234, 833, 333, 2323, 2121, 122, 8, you know, it's just, it's so many ways. 844. And you're wondering, what do I do? How do I do? You feel what I'm saying? I mean, what? not what do I do, but what should I do? Why am I seeing these numbers, spirits? So you have to talk to your spirit guides and ask them for uh, validation and to clarify what these numbers mean since you don't know what moves to make. Also, pay attention to um, your thoughts. Monitor your thoughts. Think about what you were thinking about at that time when you looked over and you seen this sign while you was at the Dollar General. You seen the billboard that said 1111. So were you thinking about something negative about hurting somebody and spirits was like, OK, I'm right here with you. You know what I'm saying? Not that, you know, because they know what's in your heart, too. You know, they they're through the good and the bad. They they'll protect you and love you and basically send you messages that you are ignoring something. You may be a be getting a message from spirit that you need to leave something. So you have to think about what were you thinking about at that time? Um, pay attention to your thoughts. Like I said, and some, and when you see certain numbers, let's just say you thought about a new job or you prayed or said something about having financial stability and you see 333 on the phone. Your spirit guides could possibly be telling you to move forward with this job so you can gain financial stability. Or don't worry about it. I got you. Financial stability will come. Just let it go. It's like clarification. Like they like, okay, you thinking, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, I can't get this. So you're worrying about it. And when you see these numbers, it makes you feel good. It's like a sign of uh, relief. Like. You're not alone. We got you. We your spirit guides. We know what to do, you know. You lost. We're going to guide you. We're going to be here to protect you and um, be here through thick and thin. And uh, they are, all, like I said, they are always here regardless of if it's some good or bad. They still send you symbols. It doesn't necessarily have to be numbers all the time. It can be other uh, ways. Everybody's gifts are different. So just because I tell you this is what I'm experiencing or somebody else on social media tell you this is what they're experiencing, don't mean or go with the okie doke. Don't mean exactly what I'm telling you is going to happen to you. These are things that you have to educate your own self on. These numbers, nobody can tell you about your spiritual journey or your guide but you. You have to pay attention to the messages. You have to pay attention to what you went through as a child up until adulthood. You know, what did I just think about on the way to work, from work? Did I just thinking about, uh, did I just think about wishing ill intent on my cousin and them numbers pop up, you know? 
You got to think about things. Look at them numbers. Pay attention. Write them down. If you keep seeing the same numbers, write them down and ask um, your spirit guides to show you what this means. Ask for clarity. Um, let's see. Like I said, keep monitor make sure you monitor your thoughts. And your spirit guides is always letting you know that you're not alone. Always acknowledge your angel's presence your, um, as well. If you see a message on a video, like let's just say for example my video and it posts and it says 833. Take heed to your spirit guides and your spiritual ancestors. They wanted you to possibly listen to that message. Maybe not the whole message. You know what I'm saying? But they letting you know they right there. Say thank you. Thank you spirit for, for, for showing me this message. Thank you. I'm right here. I acknowledge you. I see you. You ain't alone, spirit. I'm right here with you. I understand. I understand what this means. I understand what this means. So, I, I got you, spirit. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Thank you for the help. Because they're always there to protect you. Especially from evil. So, always thank your angels and your ancestors. And let them know you see them and that you woke. They, they want you to say, I mean, they want to be appreciated too. You know what I'm saying? Work ain't done for free. You got to put in some work if you want something out of it. Um, and always ask them for clarity. Like I said, you see 777 on the clock. Make sure you say spirit. Um, I don't know what it means. <laughs> What's the next step, spirit? Like, <laughs> I'm stuck. I keep seeing 422, 123. I keep seeing it. And I don't understand what it means. So you got to pay attention. You have to. And when it comes to them um, angel numbers, don't forget, pay attention to your numbers on your microwave, your cell phone, your stove, your TV when you pause the video. If you're on YouTube, if you're on Facebook, pay attention to the timestamp or what time was posted. Pay attention to billboards, to the amount of change that you get back from a um, clerk or cashier or whatever. Pay attention to your bank account uh, cards, your birth years. Those are... um most definitely angels and angel numbers as well it ain't just certain numbers it get real deep uh pay attention to um the money that's left in your bank account the amount of change you get back the money you put into a business um it might be the price of a couch you seen at the store eleven thousand dollars and eleven cents there might be a clock stuck in your house on the time 1010. So synchronicity synchronicity comes in different ways. Money, um, birth year, you know, could have been a time you were born. Like you have to pay attention to these signs. And when you see these numbers and you keep seeing them. You got to pay attention to those messages. Don't ignore these messages because some of them may be deep, deep, deeper than what you think depending on what type of life, lifestyle you live and what, and who you are and what you chose, what your purpose here to do is and what you chose to do in your life. So pay attention to these numbers always, always. You know, like pay attention to move-in dates. Let's just say you moved into your crib on June 21st, 2021. 2021 twice. 2021. You feel what I'm saying? So it's just so many, it's so many ways. And you have to do your own research. Don't just get on here and just listen to everybody. Just talk and tell you what they seen and try to put this your stuff with their stuff. Everybody got a different journey. Everybody got a different path with the most high. So you got to figure out your path and what your spirit guides and your spirit ancestors is trying to teach you and show you. And make sure you try to write down everything that you think and feel is, is good. The best thing you can do is release and write down everything that you see. You might have a story to tell. You might have been seeing these numbers since you was a child and didn't know back then what it meant. You know, so... It's just so many symbols. It's uh, plenty of things. 
and plenty of messages and plenty of ways that you'll get messages from people that you can't see that's fighting for you out there. When you're going through your good, your bad, your ugly, and you wonder why you getting through shit or you got through something, that was your spirit guides and your ancestors and the most high protecting you out there fighting for you. Because somebody trying to do some evil shit to you. Or you could be chosen and they trying to do some witchcraft, some voodoo, some black magic. You don't know what people are on trying to poison your food. You never know. You can't trust nobody. Put no trust in no man. And that's straight like that. 